Hey golfers, Drew Mahold here with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at the Minnetonka Tour Van location. Uh, Thomas, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm really excited to test these new driving irons out. Yeah, Titleist just uh, launched the U500 and U510 utility irons, driving irons, uh, whatever term you want to use. Yeah, I'm excited to see how far and straight these babies are going to go. Yeah, we got a thicker um, U510 model uh, with some kind of lower um, weighting in the sole. U U500, a little bit more of a player's shape. Um, we should get some differences here to, to look at, but um, again, someone like you, uh, I'm going to be interested to see how that person hits the ball. Well, let's get after and see how all these babies go. All right, Thomas. Titleist U500 versus U510, kind of utility irons, driving irons, uh, whatever term you want to say. Uh, what are we starting with here today? Yep, so right now I've got the U510 driving iron. Um, just want to also clarify right now, I have a four iron with the, with the 510 and a three iron with the 500. That's, that's all we've got right now is fitting component, com components. Sure. But I won't be surprised if they go kind of fairly kind of similar numbers. There's two degrees of loft difference between them. So, okay. Uh, Five to ten yards, this may be a little short, shorter, but we'll, we'll find out and see how it goes. Yeah, so. yeah. and um, I guess looking down at it right now, what do you notice for initial impressions uh, for the U510? Because uh, I know it's supposed to be the thicker and kind of yep. have the lower center of gravity than the, the U500. It looks like a forgiving driving iron beast. It looks like yeah. this thing is just designed to launch in the air and, and go fairly far. Sure. So, yep. It's supposed to be one you can get way up in the air when you're maybe attacking a par five and two. Uh, from, I don't know, it depends on the player, but for you, probably 250, for example. <laughs> we'll see if I need this 250. Is that a challenge? <laughs> uh, maybe it is. <laughs> All right, and then I got Hazardous Smoke 6.0 in, in okay. both these shafts here, the, the uh, hybrid shafts. All right, so let's hit a couple with each one here and compare numbers. Sounds different. Well, there's your 250 right off the bat <laughs> with a fade. And you're not a you're not a fade guy. You like to hit the baby draw. Oh. But well, one thing is also interesting when I I don't play a, I play a driving iron myself right now, but I don't have a graphite shaft in it. Oh, sure. Um, with the graphite shaft, there's a little more, little more torque to it. Yeah. I have a hard time sometimes with a graphite shaft to get it to turn over. So yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if this one a little bit harder for me to release over a little bit here, but. That felt real solid. Well, 1.5 smash first swing with this one for a four iron driver. That's, that's, that's pretty solid. That's tough to beat, for sure. I should quit now, 1.5. I can't <laughs> get any better. Yeah, I definitely left the face open on that one. All right. Yeah, a little bit, I mean, with the graphite shaft, you're going to have it's just be a little bit tougher to, to flip on you, is what yeah. you're saying? I have a quick transition from the top, and for some reason, I was a hard time just getting that sure. face to kind of release over. I'll work a little harder on this one, see if I can straighten it out. That felt solid. There we go. Oh, wow, look at that ball flight. That one felt like I, I really tried to kind of draw that one a little bit and yeah. was, you know, went kind of dead straight. That's as straight as it yeah. gets. Carry 240 going 252. This is fun. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> there it is, a little fade. 240 going 250 pretty much. All right, let's try the U500 now. All right, I'll get you switched on here. Okay. All right, looking down at it. Yeah, wow, well, this looks different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks different. Yeah. Very different. Yeah. Now this is this one after hitting that the 510 looks like it's gonna force me to hit this bit in the middle of the face a little bit more, <laughs> but it's still relatively f forgiving. I I know it's just. Well, I got used to seeing that large four iron yeah. in its hand, so. Okay. Remember this one's a three iron too. That was solid. That looked like it was uh, 
significantly lower too, which obviously with two degrees less of loft, that should yep. be expected, but. Yeah, that one felt real solid. Look at that, that's easy math. Full speed 150 divided by club speed at 100. Yeah, there you 1. go. 1.50. 1. 1.5. Yep. This one just felt solid, more solid off the club face. The other one just felt a little more hollow. Take Back. those two shots any day. That is, you know, I mean, the idea in golf is to make a repeatable swing, and it looks like those two <laughs> shots, those almost repeated each other. Yeah. Exactly. That was just a tad heavy. But Look at that that's one really, a little bit higher, wow. too. <laughs> really interesting that this one I'm finding a lot easier to turn over as well. It's got less loft on you. think it would make it a little harder for me, but. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the more solid driving irons that I've hit right there. Wow, look at that dispersion. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that right there. Now, one thing I noticed between hitting the U510, your first four, now the U500, is that, to me, the U510 was much louder sound-wise. There was like a, a piercing kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but it's definitely much louder. Yep. And this was kind of more softer. This is more like a thud. Yeah. That one was yeah. more like, you could just tell it was hollow. It just yeah, felt like it was. Yeah, you can definitely tell a difference in construction. Yep. Just, it seemed like that was a little softer of a noise versus, I mean, this one, the first time I you hit it, it was like, it almost <laughs> rang in my ears. Um, yeah. But uh, you know, anything uh, take away from that besides, I mean, you crushed all four of those. <laughs> Yeah. Right around where the pin would be. Well, you know what? I want to hit the 510 a couple more times here again. Yeah. Just, I feel like I left that face open for some sure, reason. Sure, sure. I know it is a four iron versus three iron, so it shouldn't go quite as far. Now, but, as, yeah. as, that, as a fitter, would you say that the construction of the club being thicker, would it maybe be tougher for someone to turn it over? I don't think so. Don't think I don't so? think it would be tougher, no. Um, it should be more forgiving. Would cl smaller yep. club head would certainly be more workable. Yep. Um, I don't know if that had, would have anything to do with it. Maybe because those are four just ah, that very one, yeah. repeatable swings that you had. There. For a three iron to go 264 off the tee for me, sign yeah. me up right now. Like right. I could hit that all day. You know, a lot of the courses I play in, in my section events, I don't need to hit driver off the tee. I just yeah. need to get something kind of in play. All right. I don't know what it is. I just, uh, that other one's so much more solid. I mean, there's the maybe 10 yard difference between a three and a four iron with being yeah. 22 degrees and yeah, you got 20 these, degrees. You got four of these kind of right at where you would probably say distance wise you would yep. hit a four iron uh, versus your three iron, and then kind of those two sort of uh, miss hits that you've had, but. All right, let me hit one more. Yeah, interesting. So one thing I've definitely noticed is, yes, the 500 was going further, but it wasn't really carrying that much further. Oh. So carry distance versus and trajectory was kind of a, yeah, a kind of a big difference, difference right there. So let's switch this right here. Also okay. get a little bit closer together. Yeah, I've got these couple in here that were more. Yeah, you can kind of miss hits here. If you take those out of there, those miss hits, and you got. I mean, now you'll notice. Yeah, the carry distance wasn't that that far off between the two of them. Um, big difference is height, though. Sure. So yeah. the U five hundred. I love the idea of having a club where I can hit it pretty low off the tee. Yeah. You know, still 100 feet in the air, but going down the fairway. We'll notice right here with the U510, 133 feet in the air versus 107 feet in the air. Mm -hmm. Now, there's two degrees of loft difference yeah. between them, but I'm not... Is that what you would, I mean, you would expect? I wouldn't expect a major difference between that there okay. at all. 
So that, um, that's, you would say that's a major difference between you know 107 average, 133 average. It's a big, big difference. Yeah. I'm going to have more stopping power with the 510. Right. So on, let's say, so. on a softer course, wet conditions, you know, y these clubs are probably going to go the same distance, roughly, you'd say, right? Because yeah, plus or minus maybe carried. five, yeah. uh, probably within their, the same distance between sure. a three and a four iron, because we've only got three to four iron now. Yeah. But what I'm, essentially what I'm saying is the landing angle with the 510 was 48 degrees. Yeah. Landing angle with the U500 was 42 degrees. It's a massive difference. If someone's trying to wanted to hitting a longer club into a green, that's going to stop. Yeah, the 510 is a great option. If some if someone just particularly is just trying to play a driving iron, the 500 is a great option. So big big difference between yeah. peak height and landing angle between these two. So you would Carry expect a lot of uh, maybe professionals or, or competitive amateurs maybe um, would have kind of one of each in the bag maybe. I option, mean, depending on the course and what you're trying to achieve yeah. with, with, with it. I don't know if too many tour professionals would put the 510 in the, in, in the bag. They're, they're pretty, they have the ability to be able to stop the ball with most sure. clubs. But if someone's lacking a little club speed and try, needs a little bit of help to stop the ball on, on the green with a longer iron, you think if someone has a three iron, a traditional three iron that doesn't have enough club speed, it's yeah. not going to get up in the air and it's not going to land soft enough right. for them. You know, the five, U510 might be a great option for them there, too. So that's, you know, kind of the difference. Yes, I was leaving the face a little more open with the 510, so it was flying a little higher, mm -hmm. but not to the point where it was almost 30 feet difference between the two of them right there. Right. Yeah. Okay, Thomas, you hit uh, some with the U510 and the U500. I had a lot of fun watching you hit those, by the way. It was uh, a that, lot of fun hitting them. Yeah, both of them think. are rockets. <laughs> um, what were the big differences that you saw between these two? Um... The ability to hit this thing a lot straighter and lower with the U500. It was, that was probably the biggest difference I noticed. The U510, it felt pretty solid on the face. My splash factor was great. I actually had a little more ball speed with that one, but I had a hard time turning it over. It just flew a little higher, so it would give you great stopping power. Um, U500 was just kind of a lower trajectory, just like a bullet. It was yeah. a low, straight bullet. I uh, don't think I'm going to hand this club back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were. I mean, you, hit, you hit four shots with the U500, and all of them were, I mean, they were probably within three or four yards of each other, all four of them. Yep. Uh, perfectly straight trajectory, uh, and also low, like you mentioned. So somebody that is looking to maybe find something either off the tee that they want to keep low and, and controlled, uh, that might run out a little bit. The U500, as you mentioned before, is kind of for that player. And the U510, a little bit different. And like you said, you hit, this is actually more ball speed. Um, but higher trajectory and would land softer um, on the greens. Um, in terms of look, sound, feel, uh, obviously there's some differences here in terms of the shaping on them. What were the takeaways for you? Yeah, so look-wise, you know, this looks like your traditional kind of smaller kind of driving iron. Looks, you know, like a, more like a three iron. This, you know, a little bit bulkier. Definitely kind of feel, feel felt a little more hollow. Um, this felt solid, more hollow. Um, Larger club head is going to present more confidence. Mm -hmm. It's going to give the ability to be able to stop the ball more stopping power right. with with a steeper attack angle landing on the green. Um, but both very very good looking clubs. Yeah. Like I said, this U five hundred, it's pretty you got, solid. You got a decision to make, don't <laughs> yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, it was really good. I love trying. You know, driving iron is definitely something I've been playing around with my bag a lot, and you know, I love something that I can mm -hmm. hit about two sixty dead straight down the middle. Yeah. Can't you complain. can't, can't yeah. complain about that, right? Yep. Um, golfers, if you're out there interested in either the U510 or the U500, I would encourage you to visit either secondswing.com and uh, speak to an online phone fitter or visit one of our stores and find a master fitter such as Thomas Campbell and get fit for one of these clubs that clearly uh, can help your game.